Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well. Today we're doing my Louis Vuitton bag collection and as you guys can see there's actually very very few pieces here and that is because over the last maybe six, seven, eight months or so I have been selling a lot of these pieces, uh, Louis Vuitton pieces. Um, from my last year's bag collection with video, I think after that point I've sold tons of Louis Vuitton bags in order to fund my Chanel purchases. I think since that point I've bought maybe three more Chanel bags and a number of other bags. But the reason I was able to do that is because I did let go a number of Louis Vuitton pieces. I did another video on the bags I've sold and kind of explaining a little bit why that is. And um, But wasn't able to provide you guys with a very detailed list of all the bags I've let go. I think even I tried in my description but it wasn't inclusive. So I'm gonna try to do that here a little bit more. And to go over with you guys what's left. Um, and I'm thinking maybe it's a good time for me to add more. Um, haven't decided what I should get from Louis Vuitton yet, but I uh, would love to hear from you guys what you think. Anyways, I think I still have a number of very good basic Louis Vuitton pieces, um, and some of them I use very frequently, but you know, um, I'll go through them uh, in the order that I've purchased them, so I think that would be the easiest. My very first one is a gift from my father, it's the Speedy 30 in the monogram print and it's very very used up you guys can see i used this for absolutely everything and anything since i was 18 um years old i think it was maybe 19 now i'm thinking back the date stamp on this bag actually that would be able to tell us a bit more it is a really like very old bag the handles are really old it says 08 so that is correct well i was more like 20 then ish anyways now you guys know how old i am but um it's from 2008 so it's quite you know it, it has some years to it for sure the patina is um very dark now but the zipper still works like a dream like it's awesome amazing like the quality on these bags from from before no cracking on the canvas the corners are still in decent shape I think there's one corner that has a little bit of chipping but overall it's a great bag um, I have not used it for only a very long time I think I can still use it as a nice travel bag like or you know I, I do plan to maybe give it to my daughter at some point she's only two and a half so it'll be some time um, really nice bag. I do add my monogram strap to it once in a while. Like when I first got the strap, I used it with the strap. If you don't have a lot of items in your bag, it totally works fine. Um, it's one of the entry pieces from Louis Vuitton for sure. I think 30 is a nice size, but I think the 25 is now more popular. But I have to say, for Speedy, honestly, they pack in so much. Like, honestly, the 30 is good enough for, like, a weekend getaway from myself. Um, that's how much it can actually hold. Like, you can put clothes in there, makeup, and it just, like, and it just zips up. Like, it's really great. Some of the flaws for the Speedy is the fact that you can only hold it top handle, and that's why a lot of people go for the bandolier version. But I find a lot of people who purchase a bandolier don't actually end up using it very often. I'm not sure why that's the case. But for me, I mean, again, I use a top handle, I use it traveling, it was totally fine. I almost kind of use it, treat it like a tote bag, except I can't put it over my shoulder. Um, so one of the problem is the top handle. The other thing is the way they designed the uh, zipper tab is a piece of a cheddar leather. This tab over time does get weared off and often you will see vintage pieces that has this missing and I can see that rusting happening on my um, on my bag as well. Um, and uh, But other than that, I think it's a perfect little entry bag for Louis Vuitton if you're debating and if you're thinking about what to purchase, this is a great, great starting piece. Highly recommend. and. I don't ever plan to let go from my collection just because, first of all, I don't think I can get a lot of it out of it. And it is my very first luxury piece ever. So I do think it's quite meaningful in that sense. And it's a gift from my father too, so I can't, you know, it just has a lot of meaning. I think I'll just store it. It does take a lot of space to store, but um, like I said, I, I do still see myself using it for traveling and things like that. So I think it's nice. 
so just keep it. My second piece from Louis Vuitton that I actually purchased from the boutique is this Bria bag in the Bernice leather. And it's such in this such beautiful dusty pink almost. Um, it's like a pink, yeah, pink coral-ish color. And it has the vachetta trim on the edges. And again, the make on these older pieces are just amazing. The zipper is just runs so smoothly after so many years. And I don't do any special treatment on these bags. They just I just put them away in a dust bag. It comes with this very nice vachetta leather strap. And again, the make, I've shown this in a lot of other videos too. The stitching on these older bags is immaculate. Like look at how it's done in the past. You can compare to some of the, your newer Louis Vuitton pieces, like their strap stitching it's not even close to how neat this looks and just feels quality uh, and I feel like definitely over the years that's kind of going downhill uh, from that's kind of one of the reasons why I haven't really purchased well I have purchased but I've sold a lot of the more recent pieces as well it just doesn't really quite feel the same and this bag I've used it I did use it but not again not continuously for a period of time it's more like maybe for one month or two months of the year I will take it out and use it for a while but um, it's never it's like still in perfect condition the inside is perfectly clean it comes with the two slots inside and a nice zipper um, zipper pocket compartment as well and it's a really nice bag I think the size is nice for a top handle bag it works quite nicely as a shoulder bag as well even the strap nowadays goes for what 200 300 dollars so i think you know even having that is a great it comes with the strap so it's kind of nice that way any bag that has been discontinued though will eventually lose the popularity unfortunately no matter how great the bag is um at one point simply because there is no retail reference that people can point to and people always like the newer uh, more trendy era like things that's in um, that's why you know the classics are, are stick around like the speedy and things are still selling okay because they are still uh, in the retail shops um, but if you look at things like the Bria bag or even their favorite I think favorite was one point really really a hot buy when they first discontinued but with time I think the price point will go down also as well because there are just so many too many new things to buy so it is hard to keep up with the market. Um, again, this bag is great size. It can fit a lot inside. And I did use for work for a long time. So really nice bag. Again, the reason I have it in my collection and didn't let go simply is because I know if I let go of this bag, I won't be able to get a lot. Um, and you know, I do still see myself potentially using it. I think it's mostly because I don't want to let go for a fraction of the price that I paid for it in such a beautiful condition still. So I'm like, why? Why would I do that? Like, I still love the bag. So I'd rather be selling something that I know I can get a good value in return. So that was basically my justification. But again, you know, I, I really don't mind keeping it. It's a beautiful bag and I still see myself carrying ones from time to time. So really nice, beautiful bag. Um, after that, I would say is my mini pochette. So over last year, and if you are not new to my channel, you might have subscribed to me while I was doing a lot of stocking on the Vuitton website for those hard to get items. I bought a lot of hard to get items. I would say I bought all of them <laughs> and sold most of them except this little piece. I also, well, I got a pochette accessoire, which I gave to my mom. If you also look at my bag collection, I sold, anyways, I'll list out maybe uh, everything down below because I don't know if I can remember everything by memory, but I can talk about a, uh, a few that I, I think I can try to remember all of it. It's like a challenge game now. Um, but anyways, we'll go through that at the end. All the pieces I've sold. So this one is my next one, uh, and I absolutely love this mini pochette. Um, it just works really well with uh, my vachetta, sorry, my um, monogram strap. Uh, very easy grab and go if it's my phone. I, I definitely mostly use it as a mini bag I don't use it as a catch-all. I know a lot of people use it as a catch-all, which is great 
as well and I just think it's it's cute like if you go out and if say you just need to go pay for your drinks or something like that you just take this out and that's all you need I think it's really really cute uh, to use it like that as well and for me I definitely use it more like a bag and recently I've shown outfit ideas that you can do with this bag as well so that's really fun and yeah so um, I think you know it's a it's a great great entry-level bag if you can get your hands on it don't hesitate uh, I have a number of videos on this mini pochette as a swirl, so do check it out um, if you're this if this is a specific piece that you're interested in around the same time I got the monogram strap which is a, such a great piece if you love monogram items because you can attach it to any monogram items and make it a more versatile bag for yourself you can also convert this to a belt and make other things a belt bag which is fantastic you I think I've seen other people use this as a belt alone which is great too so if you just want to show some of the monogram pieces and use it as a thin belt that works as well I think following that I got actually I think I got my card holder before I got the this one I actually got it at a boutique so I went in and asked for options and they showed me a few options and I didn't think much at the time I just like I need a card holder and this is one I grabbed and turned out to be one of the pieces I use almost daily basis um, I carry a lot of small purses so this one was really good and I just use it all the time I love it so I uh, highly recommend this basic monogram card holder I also then uh, got the key pouch which is a great also a great piece a lot of people use this as a little mini wallet and it's you know great for that purpose you can fit a number of cards and even people put like small lipsticks keys whatever you want in there it's quite surprising how much you can hold but Personally, I think it doesn't work very well for keys. You have to maneuver a certain way to make it fit unless your keys are actually really, really minimal um, and things like that. And the, the quality on these are, again, not the best, but um, I still think it's a really nice entry piece. And if you just want a little simple wallet, this is perfect for that. After that, I was into vintage bag for a while. So I ended up with this beautiful No Way bag. It was a really great press. It has like really nice patina at the bottom. Um, I haven't really used it a ton, but again, great piece. Um, I'm hoping to use it more, but uh, one of my only vintage pieces at this moment, because uh, I sold the other ones. And yeah, it's just a great classic Louis Vuitton piece. Also in the monogram print. I think we're down to the last piece, which is this most recent Demi Azor, and I'm hoping to do outfit for you guys at some point, um, soon. <laughs> but yeah, so this is my last piece. Just before the price increase, I decided to go for it because I just, I love the Demi Azor print and I want something light and airy for the summertime. And I think this is a cute little piece. I did a comparison between these two, so if you're interested, you can check that out as well. And yeah, that's everything I currently have. So just going back to all the items I've sold. It's really, it's a lot. Now I'm trying to think back. So when I first started stalking Louis Vuitton website, which I'll link them down below, the first item I got was the Nano Noe. And that wasn't really by stalking. I happened to be on the website around the afternoon and it was available, so I purchased it. Such a cute piece. But then after I got that, I started to learn, oh, there's like actually tons of other really hard to get pieces like the Nano Speedy. So I was trying to stock Nano Speedy for the longest time and I was just not available. And I was like, this is impossible. I was ready to give up. And then I uh, found the forum, which is called Purse Forum, which is very well known in the luxury community. They have a specific post called, what are you stocking today? Using that, anyways, there's I, I'll link the detailed video down below about how my stocking trips and how I scored all the hard to get items for you guys. But basically using that, I was able to get Nano Speedy, Pochette Accessoire, Mini Pochette Accessoire, the Key Pouch, Toiletry Pouch 26, um, what else? Is that everything? But basically any hard to get item, you name it, I was able to get it. And 
very, it was fun and a thrilling experience, right? When you were able to check out and purchase something that was really hard to get. Um, it was fun for a while, but then I quickly realized I was simply buying them because they were hard to get and I didn't actually need any of them. So I decided to um, let go uh, most of those pieces with the exception of this one, of course. Um, I was able to get my money back, obviously, and sometimes even make a slight profit because I was able to score some of those just before the price increase. So with all that, I was able to purchase a few other Chanel pieces. After that stocking phase, I was into eBay buying and eBay bidding. So during that time, I also purchased a mini Amazon bag from uh, eBay. I purchased a Kido, a uh, Kipo bandolier from eBay. I can link all the Louis Vuitton videos down below, which is a lot of them on my, on my channel. I also got a Papillon 26, which was beautiful bag. Um, I let go all of them, <laughs> so they were all sold as well. Um, not really for profit, maybe a slight profit, but again, not a huge, I was just trying to experience different vintage pieces. And at the time, because of COVID, they actually was able, only able to ship through DHL, I think, and there's always a duty and tax on, on all those items, so there is a charge on it. I give my Alma uh, Vernice the hot pink one to my mom. I did let go of the um, uh, the favorite, not the favorite, sorry, what is it called? I can't even remember now, I have to, I have to look up the name. I did let go a few other um, pieces as well. So this is really what I have left in my current uh, collection right now. I can list them all out down below. I'll also link my full bag collection from last year in the comment below as well if you would like to check it out. But yeah, I think maybe it's time for me to add another new piece. So I'll also launch a quick survey for you guys to maybe help me how which one I should get next. But I am very happy with what I have right now. And this allows me the room to get more and build on my current existing collection. So hoping to do an ex uh, updated Chanel collection video for you guys as well. So stay tuned for that. And I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.